Hey everybody, so I'm back. Today I actually have a unit that I wanted to showcase. Got this way back, I think it was in, I want to say May. One of them that I haven't gotten around to doing a showcase, mainly because it's been at the back, very back of my collection. So, I don't know if you can tell, but it's a little, it's like a little on the, a little on the dusty side, but that's alright. So, it's a Kenworth. It's about a 2012, I believe, like 2012, Kenworth K200 Prime Mover. I don't know if you can tell, but this one is actually an Aussie right-hand drive, which is primarily the application that the K200 comes in as it's available in, um, I think, New Zealand, Kim, or no, Australia, was that other one Papa New Guinea if I'm saying that right so this one comes from Drake collectibles in the 150th scale and it's in the McKelvey's library very I want to say that the parts are very similar to the ones used on like swords and you know, swords WSI's maybe a little first gear not too too, too sure on that but What's cool about this model is when you get it, it comes with a miniature version of the real K200 like sales brochure. So it's got really nice color photos, um, information on the real prime mover itself. And it's a handy little addition to your collection, that's for sure. And it gives the locations where you can Purchase and service your KW at. So, as always, a Packer product. Let's just set that guy right there. Oh, well, it's alright. This one right here, um, when I got it, I really wanted, you know, one thing I really wanted was like a lot of, a lot of detail, especially inside interior detail. I was able to get that. The only thing is that, I don't know if you can tell, but there isn't much in the way of like cabinetry or it does have a rear window which you can actually see through from the, the back if you got really good vision outwards I suppose you can't really tell from there so and it's in like a tan I want to say like diamond diamond tuck interior so the plastic plating that's used on the inside, for some reason it actually covers up the inside of the like, skylights so you can't see through them. Why they did that, I don't know. It would have been nice had they just left them alone so if you peeked in the truck you could actually see out the windows but you know it's a small detail compared to what you what you get so I'm not gonna not gonna ding it too heavy for that. Um, you have your, of course, oversized plaque right on the, right on the bumper, your new style Kenworth grill. Um, what you, what's interesting about these ones is being that they're like Outback trucks. They put mud flaps right on pretty much like each, each axle, which gives it a, gives it a really cool factor. The only thing is that when it comes to the front axle, I actually had to clip clip it off right down there because the wheels and the tires, when you turned them, they would get hung up like right on that part right there. So it wouldn't be able to roll forward, right, or left. So being that it's a cab over and it's front and top heavy, if I move the whole thing, it's gonna... Let me see if I can hang on here. Let me see. Okay, so yeah. And it has a decent amount of decent amount of roll. Doesn't get hung up nearly as much on the front flaps, but you know, it bugged me a little, so I got out the clippers and just nipped it off. Um, you have your side peeper door, your daylight doors right there. Side access hatch with your cool chrome KW styled air vents as well as your marker lights right up on the roof. I believe that's your air cleaner. Um, you'll notice the red tape right in the back. 
The reason I had to do that is that when you get it, the um, air hoses do some sort of pretty much like springs, they do flop about. So they're not connected, to, they don't have a holder to pop them in. So of course I had to improvise a little. It does have a fair amount of suspension on it, not too, not too bad. The fifth wheel does pivot up and down, forward and back, and it's got the little release lever right there so you can pop it down and put in your selected trailer. Get your license plate right down there, your Australian, New Zealand, Zealand style tail lights, which I think like the amber is like government man mandatory. So you notice that on just about every truck that comes out of that part of the world. Okay, so um, again, the doors do open up. You just need one of those pick type scalpel thingies. I don't have mine on hand right now, so I'll demonstrate that later on. Probably not in this video, but the steps right here on, I believe on the real K200, they would flip forward a little so when the driver would access it to the passenger, they would be able to set like their suitcases and luggage right down, right down there. So very cool, Kenworth, very cool cab does tilt forward so you get a really good amount of detail especially with the real hoses and the wires and all those other goodies the grill on the front I believe yeah is etched through so very cool so with the K200 it's primarily like a flat floored cab over and I think that's the reason why the cab sits so high above the wheels and it was that like really not much of an engine tunnel not much of an engine tunnel so you got your squared off fuel tanks um let me turn it over to the driver's side real quick okay i.e that would be on the opposite side okay so pretty much same same thing over here um single vertical exhaust a lot of chrome on these a lot of chrome so um when you pricing is about average for like a drake collectible they come one 180 200 dollars maybe four or five if you get a trailer prime mover combo so check into it if you really like so i think i'm gonna wrap it up there um if you guys have any questions do drop them i i love this model so i'd be more than happy to answer them for you so with that being you guys take care